Well, the original story, you know, when we started, Sheree and I, it was, uh, you know, when you turn 40 and you've got to make something really different happen in your life. So we fell in love with this bit of dirt out in the middle of the wilderness up in the hills and uh, yeah, sold the house, bought a caravan, moved over, lived in a, lived in a caravan in a shed in Eden Valley. And, uh, you know, planted, the, planted 30 acres of vines, took kids out of school, took them away from all their friends, did all the things that you should never have done. It was just dogged. 24 hours a day work and it was you know Sheree and I just spent our days out in the vineyard trying to grow grapes which we didn't know how to do that's that's where the bonsai came from the, the bonsai Shiraz which is our first wine is actually called the bonsai because we fucked up so badly in the vineyard that they didn't grow and we had a bloke come in jokingly called it the bonsai vineyard so we started off <laughs> as a complete failure in reality, but uh, the vineyard eventually grew. Well, why we moved from Eden Valley to Yendo was again uh, lots of happenstance, and you know that's when Jamie and James and and myself uh, got together, and we started off with the idea of you know crushing 2,000 tons, servicing a couple of clients that we still had overseas and uh, we looked around looked around all over Griffith trying to find like a place so we had this 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 uh, little patch of dirt up in the hills because I've got used to hills now um, as, a, as a location we could build a small winery um, and then the, the end of site the old Penfolds end of site came up for sale and we thought okay we should ask them how much they want for it and that we, the price was at a price we could afford. So instead of 2,000 tonne, we ended up with a 20,000 tonne winery and, and the rest is history. So we've basically had the facility to become quite big and we've sort of grown into it. Um, but again, you know, there was no 20-year uh, no business plan that said we were going to be where we are now, that's for sure.